Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. Today's edition, we're testing navy blue camouflage in a woodland environment in the late summer, early uh, fall time frame. Now you may ask yourself, why navy blue, and why is it a solid blue instead of the uh, blueberry pattern the navy currently wears, or actually just phased out? And the answer is really simple. This is a color that's predominantly used by certain security forces. Uh, for example, Customs and Border Protection uses this a lot in a lot of entry ports in the United States and a lot of the border sections on the northern border. Also, this is a color that's used by a lot of Navy security guards on base, on the base that still actually have Navy people doing their security, that is. It's also used by a lot of private security where they can't wear camouflage and black looks too militant. So they go with this navy blue kind of color, deep dark blue. Now for this test, we've made a few compromises. We're wearing no 782 gear or TA-50 of any type because there's not a lot in blue. As a matter of fact, the <laughs> search of it revealed none. The closest we had was black, and I felt that would detract from the test. Also, no face or hand camouflage because the people who normally wear this don't wear face or hand camouflage in their normal daily routines. Also, going with a boonie hat simply because wearing a blue hat uh, would have a unit name and I didn't want to show an affiliation with any agency or security group. So that's why we went with the plain boonie hat.
We hope you found this evaluation of the blue BDUs informative. It's an interesting color. It's a good color to use when you don't want to appear too militant, for lack of better terminology. And it actually blends in better than one would think when you watch the video. One of the things we could not capture on video was its performance at night, which is a sad thing because it generally seemed to outperform black, which is kind of surprising in the pitch black at night. You think black would be the best color, but blue seemed to do a little bit better. Um, our night vision testing unfortunately did not produce anything that we can put on camera, and I do sincerely apologize for that. We hope you found this video informative. We hope you comment, like, and subscribe. And please tune in for future gear test videos.